So if you're using IDX Broker, you may realize that we have a brand new interface, which is very exciting. Basically, what has changed is where you're going to find things. So I wanted to show you today where you can go find your widgets to build your IDX widgets. <clears throat> I do want to show you something really exciting, though. If you go to the home, go to home, click on traffic stats. I think this is a really cool feature. What we're able to see is how much traffic we're bringing in from where. So I've built out all of these widgets on my Las Vegas real estate website, and I can see here that 2,410 um, have come from owner will carry homes. I don't see, I don't know which, what the time period is on this. That's the only thing I don't know, I have to look. And then um, next to that is actually Facebook, believe it or not. Then we have um, homes for sale under 100,000, homes for sale under 200,000, mother-in-law quarters, condo homes. So it's really cool to be able to see where we're generating traffic from. Now let me go show you these, uh, where to design your widgets now. So all you have to do is go down here to design. Um, under website, click the plus sign. Then go down to widgets, and I'm actually gonna, I'm creating one right now, so I'll show you really quick. So go to create new. Now, if you do not have IDX Broker and you are looking for an IDX Broker solution, um, let me know or check out the description. My um, link actually saves you $99 for the setup fee. And if you are in the market for a full real estate website with IDX, um, reach out to me. My brothers over at ballandbrands.com can help integrate and put that all together. Here, we're going to go to build a widget, showcase. This is how we're going to make that grid of homes. I'm going to do a custom search, and I'm going to do an advanced search. Now, what I'm actually looking for, this is going to sound funny, but I'm actually looking for um, an exact phrase, which is... Las Vegas mansions for rent. So I'm going to go build Las Vegas mansions for rent. So up here under residential, I'm going to change that to residential rental. Now, this is based on my IDX fields. Whatever my IDX um, fields are, uh, I'm with uh, the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors. So our MLS fields match these. Yours will match yours, okay? So residential rental status is active and I want Las Vegas. Now mansion, we need it to be large, right? So depending on what you would consider a mansion, where you are, I'm going to also say, show me only ones that have an image. So I'm going to say, I want it to be at least 4,000 square feet and six bedrooms. Now let's see what actually pops up. View results in a new window. 10 results. Whoa, <laughs> that is a mansion. Oh my gosh, these are great. I don't think I'd consider that one a mansion, but it's pretty big. How big are these? 13,000 square feet, 8,000 square feet. 5,000 square feet, 5,000 square feet, 6,000. Yeah, I think 4,000. I think we need to go just a little bit bigger on our square footage there. I'm going to say let's make it at least 5,000 square feet. The word mansion makes me feel like it should even be bigger. But I'm going to just stick with that for now since there aren't very many choices. In fact, let me also pull up um, Henderson. Okay. So now once we have that, we go down here and I'm going to put Las Vegas Mansions for Rent. I'm going to say, how do I want to sort this? By newest listings, least. I'm going to, I'm going to make mine largest because mansions, right? So I'm going to do square feet high low. I'm going to have it be a three column. Okay. 
Now watch this. So I'm going to click Build Widget. I'm just going to take this little code right here. Super simple. Once we put that in, it shows up like this. Las Vegas Mansions for Rent. And then here is a list of the mansions that they can rent. It's that easy. This is one of the reasons why I absolutely love IDX Broker um, combined with a great WordPress real estate agent website.